Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. It's the beginning of the week. A brand new week is here, Britney Spears. What do you say to that? I think Britney Spears likes Mondays. He's like, I like starting things off fresh. You know what I'm saying, brother? Starting off a brand new week is always nice. A brand new week means all new stuff to do. And today we're gonna be talking about how to train a Siberian Husky. Do you have a Siberian Husky at home? Do you have one of these floofy little Arctic pups? Or maybe you're thinking about getting one. Maybe you're like, ooh, you know what? I love Siberian Huskies and I really, really want one because look at that background, baby. They're super duper handsome and super duper pretty and we get it. They got wonderful personalities and honestly, Siberian Huskies are some of the best doggos in the whole wide world. So with that being said, it is super duper vital to train your Siberian Husky. Not a lot of people know how to do it and honestly, it takes a little bit more finesse than just training your average doggo. Siberian Huskies are known to be medium difficulty dogs to own. And while this may be true, who knows, we have no clue. They definitely require an adequate amount of training in order to get them to behave right on a regular basis. We're gonna be giving you five different tips that are gonna help you when it comes to training your itty bitty little boofer. Now we know a lot of people at home are having trouble. They're like, hey, I can't get my Siberian Husky to focus or I can't get my Siberian Husky to do this or do that. They're not focusing like your Siberian Huskies do. What in the heck do I I do, Dudio. Like I said, in today's video, we're gonna be bringing you five tips that are going to make you the perfect Siberian Husky training master. Think we're exaggerating? Think we're going crazy? Stay tuned, we're gonna teach you exactly how to do it. It is not as hard as it looks. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out five tips on how to train a Siberian Husky. Are you ready, lady? You ready, buddy? Good boy. All right, let's go. All right, so first things first, before we get into all of the training tips, we wanna talk about a couple of things. Good job, girl, you found her. Numero uno is the Patreon. We have a lot of people who support us through Patreon, and we wanna let you guys know that we know that we haven't been doing a lot over there on the Patreon. Basically, what we do is we provide you with a couple of updates every couple of months. So we wanna thank those people for helping us out and pushing our channel to be the best. Now, we should have been doing a whole bunch of things for those patrons from the very beginning but honestly we were just so busy making videos every single day however we are changing that entire thing up we're going to be way more dedicated to the patreon account we're gonna start putting up really really helpful advice for husky owners so if you guys are looking for individual questions answered or if you'd like to request a video they'll all be posted over there tips and tricks you won't get here on the channel and all you have to do is pay a dollar or more over on the Patreon account and you'll get all of that stuff every single week. We're going to be updating it a couple times a week and each and every video will be made by me. You'll see Gila and Britney Spears and we'll go over all the different tricks and tips that we don't cover on the channel. So we wanted to let you guys know we're blowing up the Patreon account. We want to make it something super duper dope for those of us who support us that reach out and say, hey, we want to do more than watch the videos. We want to lend you a couple bucks. Well, we want to help you out in return. And we promise we're going to have some really, really awesome videos coming your way on that account. She still got one more treat to find. It's in there. It's in that little, little hole right there. And last but not least, I'm pretty sure that I broke the GoPro when I fell the other day, or actually it was last week when I fell, I'm pretty sure the GoPro broke. I've been looking at the footage that I've been creating through the GoPro in previous videos. People have noticed that the quality hasn't been as good. It's been weird and I understand, I see it. I'm gonna get rid of this GoPro. We're gonna get a new one. Super sorry about that. We're not using the GoPro anymore, are we buddies? Like, no bro, throw that thing away in the trash. All right, so let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna be talking about when it comes to training your Siberian Husky is going to be schedule. And this is the most important thing that you can do when you're training your pepperoni pizza. Schedule is so super duper important. If you don't do schedule, none of the stuff that I'm going to teach you in the next few minutes are going to matter. Schedule is the number one thing you have to stick to. If you don't think you can stick to the schedule, fix the schedule and make it so you won't miss those critical times in the day. For example, when it comes to potty training a Siberian Husky, you need to make sure that you're taking them out at the same time every single day. So if you have a really young puppy, then you're gonna be taking them out every two hours 
all the time. Make sure you do it like clockwork. Now, of course, at night when you're sleeping, you don't have to wake up every two hours. I think there's a little bit of a grace period. Sometimes your puppy can push through, but when you're doing the daily routine, when you're awake, make sure you take your puppy out almost nearly the same time every single day. Now, you don't have to be this crazy when it comes to other training methods, like maybe you're training your dog to walk. Oh, I said the W word. But what's really important is that if you are gonna teach your dog to walk properly, then you need to be taking them on that walk on a very consistent schedule. See, if you're only taking your Siberian Husky for a walk like two times a week, they're not gonna know the proper procedures to calm down at the door, wait for you to walk outside, all those different things. You have to make sure that you are sticking to a schedule. If you can't stick to a schedule, then you are ultimately going to fail at training your Siberian Husky. Now, I know this is a fun channel, but I'm trying to get serious with you guys for a minute. These are words of wisdom, Lloyd. Words of wisdom. Make sure that you are sticking to a schedule and the rest will be a piece of cake. Boop -a -doop, boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop you so cute. Look at those little feet. Look at those little feet. I'm touching your feet. I'm touching your feet. It's like, I don't care, bro. I want that little piece of chocolate cake. Number two is going to be patience. You have to have patience with your Siberian Husky. I get a lot of people coming to the channel who are like, hey, my Siberian Husky's four months old. My Siberian Husky is three months old. They're not doing these things. They're not doing this. They're not listening to me that much. And I'm like, yo, not to be rude, but your Siberian Husky is super duper young. It's gonna take them a few months to get the swing of things. And once they do, they'll become a perfection artist, just like Miss Hila right here. But you gotta make sure that you do the proper steps. And by doing the proper steps, that means you got to be patient, baby. You got to have that long-term patience, not that kind of patience that's like, hey, I can sit in the bedroom for 30 minutes and I'm not bothered. I'm talking about the kind of patience where you need to sit and wait for weeks, maybe months, because doggos don't have the same size brain as you, baby. It takes them a little bit of time to process information. So now that you know the first two steps, you're basically armed with the most important information when it comes to training a Siberian Husky. Stick do a schedule and be patient. Once you have those two things in your pocket, you're gonna be able to train your Husky to do anything in the entire world, including be off leash. Now let's segue into tip number three, and that's going to be teaching your Husky one trick at a time. I know a lot of people bring their Husky home and they're like, hey, I love this little floofy thing. It's sleeping everywhere and it's so cute. Domo origato, Mr. Doggo. I know a lot of people bring their Siberian Husky home and the first thing that they want to do is train them to do stuff. They're like, hey, I know training is super duper important, I've been watching that 60 formula on the YouTubes and I know I should be training my Husky as soon as I bring him home But it's really important to teach your Husky one trick at a time You don't want to bring your Husky home and overwhelm their tiny little peanut brain. Oh, I'm just kidding You don't have a peanut brain but seriously, you don't want to overwhelm them. Start with one trick at a time. You got a puppy at home? Start with sit. Then after they master that, segue into lay down. Lay down is one of the easiest tricks to teach after your dog knows how to sit. And then segue from lay down into stay. I always see people trying to train their dogs like this. Sit down, stay, stay, sit down, lay down, stay, sit down. If you say those things just like that a million miles per hour, your dog's not gonna know what you're talking about. Start with one thing at a time. So just be patient, stick to a schedule, and make sure that you're teaching your Siberian Husky one trick at a time. Paul? Yeah! Tip number four when it comes to training is to use extremely delicious treats. You wanna make sure that you get some of the best tasting stuff and that your Siberian Husky is mega super duper interested in it. Creating a lure for your dog when you're training is one of the most important and effective ways to train. And using a treat as a lure is one of the best ways to train your Siberian Husky. Stand. Good girl, that's a good girl. We like to use a wide variety of treats. Sometimes we go to the deli and we get turkey. Sometimes we use Cheez-Its. Other times we use Merrick Power Bites, grain-free stuff that's really good for your Siberian Husky. Now, while we don't advocate feeding your Siberian Husky human food on a regular basis, sometimes if the food is safe, like a cracker or something, and your Siberian Husky absolutely loves it, and they're like, baby, I can't get enough. Well, then it may be a good idea to use that as the food you use to train your 
your Siberian Husky. We want to take advantage of any food that our Husky loves as long as it's safe and healthy for them. So when it comes to training, make sure you always have a really, really good set of treats in your arsenal to get them to do all the cool, fun stuff that they need to learn. And last but not least, another very, very important rule when it comes to training your Siberian Husky is to never get angry. Don't get stressed out. I know it's really easy to get upset with your Siberian Husky when they're not doing the tricks that you're trying to teach them to do. We as humans want instant gratification. We want everything done in a matter of seconds. But Huskies, especially doggos, it takes them a while to learn stuff. So just be patient and make sure that you're not getting too angry when it comes to training them. Like I said, I know it's easy to get upset, but the best thing to do is re-strategize. Remember, all dogs are different. Different. Even Huskies, every individual pup is an individual. So it may take a different strategy to teach your puppo. If you're getting angry or stressed out and it's not working for your dog, just re-strategize. For example, when it came to Gila, all I ever had to do was go, paw and she automatically gave me her hand. She just understood it. It was something that came natural to her. But when it came to Britney Spears, I had to do all sorts of different crazy things. I had to try different stuff to get him to give me his paw. But it did take a different strategy than it took for Gila. So just remember, don't get stressed. Just re-strategize. What's up, lady? What do you got there? Is that a hamburger bone? We want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and watching. We hope these tips help you out when it comes to training your little floofy tails. If you guys have any questions at all, leave it down in the comments below. We'll help you answer any questions that you got. Don't forget about those changes coming to our Patreon. <laughs> we had fun, but we are out. So until next time, we'll see you with another episode of Guess What? Yep, you guessed it. Whatever we make. Can I get a paw? Yeah. Peace.